Well, so now you've finished the basic workflow edits and you're ready to turn your file into Blackboard for me to look at, critique, and grade. The problem is you have a huge file. This one, if you look down at the bottom of your screen, you can see the size. It's 148 megabytes. That's much too big to send to Blackboard. It takes a bandwidth. It takes forever to download and I'll just ignore it and pretend like it isn't there if it's that big. So you need to reformat these and in every assignment you'll have the instructions as to how to do that. So the first place we're going to start is in the edit menu and we need to come down and convert this from the pro photo to the sRGB. So we'll come down to convert to profile. Note there are two here, assign profile, convert to profile. You want convert to profile. What this will show you is the source space which is pro photo RGB. We want it to go to the destination space which is sRGB. This is set there because that's what I used last time. But if that wasn't there, you've got all of these other formats that you can set to. In this case, I want sRGB, so that's what we're going to set it to. And we'll say, OK. Now, since we're converting it, not assigning it, you shouldn't notice much, if any, change to the color. Then what we want to do is to take this to 8 bits. You can see now in the image mode dialog that 16 bits is checked. We want it to be 8 bits, so we'll click on that. Then what we need to do is adjust the size. So we need to come down to image size. The first thing, the order that you do these is important. The first thing you want to do is change the resolution to 100. And then I want the biggest dimension. In this case, it's the width. I want the biggest dimension to be 1000 pixels. You could set this. Sometimes it'll default to other things depending on what you did last. There are a lot of other options here, but I want it set to pixels. So we want first resolution of 100 ppi, the longest dimension, 1000 pixels. If this were a portrait size, then it would be the height that you would set to 1000, whichever is the longest dimension, and say OK. They're thinking, oh my god, the picture just went away. No, you're just seeing it at the same percentage it was before. We want this back to our full screen if you want to see it. So I just hit Control-0. It brings it back full screen instantly. Now we're ready to save. We're going to save it as a JPEG file. You want it to be in JPEG format. And I'm going to show this 03 to submit. And we'll say save. Now what this will do is it'll bring up this JPEG options menu. Go ahead and leave this large. Anything from 10 to 12 is fine. It's a JPEG. It's going to be much smaller. So this will give us a much better file to look at. We're only 500K now, so we're a whole lot smaller. So we'll say OK. And that's it. That's all you have to do. This now is the file that you are going to submit
for your um, assignments. It's now sized, formatted correctly, and that's all there is to it.